Hey fam, this is Hector Mirai, and you're listening to Faith in Vandom 180 on LTN Radio. The other day I was having a deep moment of thought about the mysteries of life and Pokemon, as I so often do, and I was thinking about Mimikyu. If you don't know the Pokemon like lore slash mythology about Mimikyu, Mimikyu is a ghost Pokemon who the true appearance of it is enough to cause serious illness or death simply by seeing what Mimikyu actually looks like, which causes Mimikyu to have to hide and which also makes him very lonely. So to combat that, Mimikyu wears a costume of Pikachu because Pikachu is the most loved Pokemon. So the one Pokemon who literally can't even be seen without doing damage disguises and hides himself out of fear as the most loved Pokemon. And it made me really start to think that a lot of us take the time to tone down who we are, our failures, our flaws, and we put on a version of ourselves that we think will be more easily loved by other people. And it's not healthy. It's just not. And it reminds me of this verse in 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. If we're still being motivated to hide who we are, to manipulate our surroundings and circumstances to be more well received by other people, we're being controlled by fear, not by love. And you can't have authentic relationships and growth when you're operating in fear and you're operating in disguise. Mimic you wants to be loved, so there's the disguise. And a lot of times, that's the exact same thing we do. Let's grow beyond that. Let's actually show who we are and be loved, because God hasn't given up on us. If you'd like to learn more about Faith and Fandom, head on over to faithandfandom.org, where you can learn about our Comic-Con ministry, podcast, memes, apparel, and book series. You can even read new chapters before they make it to the next book. I'm Hector Mirai. And thank you for spending the last 180 seconds with me.